Um, thank you, Carl, very much. Um, I really appreciate your kind words, and I'm grateful for everything that you've done for me uh, in my career, and that you're still doing to me. Um, you know, now in our academy that we, we run and we try to send the passion that we have for tennis through to the, the next generation. Um, he's been um, not just only my coach, but also a family member, um, like a big brother. Um, you know, he was there in my life, but my mother got sick when I was a teenager, when my father passed away. Um, and, it's, um, and I feel very honored and um, happy and proud that, you know, we share these moments in our lives together still. So thank you very much for this. Um, well, this is an incredible moment uh, for me um, and for my family and my husband's side of the family being here. Um, but first of all, I would like to thank the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Um, I'm very, very honored to be an inductee and honored to join all the past inductees and my fellow members of the class of 2017, each of whom, there you go, each, <laughs> each of whom have left a major mark on our sport in distinct and unique ways. Monique, you are a champion and an incredible competitor, and it's been so nice to getting to know you personally in these last few days, and congratulations to you and your family. Um, although I personally didn't know um, Vic Braden, it's incredible to see all that he did in such a very important areas as instruction, instruction and research. Um, I was able to meet his wife and saw her walk around at the museum and get her see how emotional she got about this. And um, it, you know, this is why we do this, and this is why I feel very honored to be able to share these moments with them. So congratulations to the family of Ofik as well. Steve, um, well, congratulations. Uh, the the same holds true for writers like you. Um, you know, you bring sport to life for people all over the world. And you know, I'm listening here to your speech and the way you talk and to me is um, very inspirational. And I would like to learn as I'm maybe taking on a new role as um, a, a commentator for, for tennis. Um, you know, I would like, like Christy said, I would like to maybe have a few chats with you and learn. <laughs> Andy, I have the tissue ready. Um, we've known each other for a long time. Um, we grew up together playing juniors, um, playing you know, at the highest level. And um, I remember as a teenager, early teenager, you know, coming from a very small country of Belgium, and we see, it was in Japan, um, we saw this, um, the American squad arrive, and they were all dressed up in their, you know, the, the colors of the country and, and you know they were talking and they were English and they were loud, you know, I remember. <laughs> but but there was this this admiration immediately and, and you stood out and you stood out because of your personality. Um, and that is something that over the years I've enjoyed seeing and I've missed over the years. I remember of course your great style of play and your interviews and your sarcastic answers in press conferences and they made me laugh and I love them and um, so thank you for everything that you've brought to tennis to my career you've been an inspiration when I saw you win the 2003 US Open it was a moment where I felt like okay I've lost a couple of finals you know I'm gonna try and you know work hard like Andy and see maybe a dream come true of mine so um, although there I have to admit there were have been a few matches in his career that I've cheered against him um, I was dating a fellow um, <laughs> tennis player at the time. <laughs> so, so there are a few matches that I, you know, wasn't really going for you, but um, <laughs> I hope you forgive me. <laughs> um, but when I heard um, about us sharing this moment together, um, I have to say I couldn't be any more happy that I was able to share this moment with you. Um, it's so nice to see where you're at with your life, with your family as a father, and, um, and it's, uh, it's an honor for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tennis has been so great to me 
Um, it has given me so many opportunities and it's taught me so many lessons. Lessons that are applicable both on and off the court. Lessons that I often talk about with the students at my academy, but also to my family. Um, and I would like to describe them in eight words. Um, dedication, caring, uh, optimism, patience, respect, sacrifice, tolerance, and passion. But of those eight words, there are really three that are the most important to me and to the, all that's happened and that has brought me to this special place here today. The first is, is optimism. That is having the right attitude. As you deal with adversity and negative moments, it's important to stay positive. I'm not just talking about tennis, but in life overall. The second is dedication. Taking the time to really devote yourself to whatever you want to accomplish practice, fitness, mentally being ready, and all the extra effort that it takes to succeed. That has been very important to me as well. And finally, but, finally, but most importantly, comes passion. You can be optimistic, you can be dedicated, but most of all, you have to bring that special energy and desire to anything that you do. Everyone who stood on this stage before me and will stand here after me has had a passion for the sport of tennis. I found mine when I was five years old, and I dedicate and I dedicated to pass it on, and I'm dedicated to pass it on to the next generation. Those three words are so meaningful, and I've learned them through my upbringing, from my experiences, from the many matches that I've played, and the many people that I've known and met through tennis. There are a few others that I would like to thank. Uh, my father, Leo, who passed away in 2009. Um, I was actually sitting there, and with the heat burning on us, um, he probably would have been sitting right under the roof right there because he didn't like the sun. Um, he was a world-class athlete and I learned so much from him and about so many things every day, big things and little things. And I know a day like today would have made him very, very proud and would have been very meaningful, meaningful for him. The same holds true for my mother, Else. She's not here today, but she played a major role in my development as a human being and as an athlete. She showed me that even when life doesn't go as you would like it to go, and you have, you have to hang in there, and good things will happen. She was a gymnast, so maybe, maybe it's true that being able to perform the splits is genetically acquired. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for everything, Mom. <laughs> My American family and friends who made the trip down to be a part of this special day. Um, my father-in-law, Richard who has been a big fan from the first day I met him, or even probably before I knew him. Um, he, um, Brian and I only just met, and, um, and <laughs> weren't really sure where our relationship was going, but all of a sudden I get a phone call, and Richard, my father-in-law, wanted to come to watch me play at Wimbledon. So I was like, okay, you know, this is a different way of, of dealing with things. But, um, <laughs> but he's been a great support. Um, my mother-in-law, Mary, She's an incredible person and a great grandmother, and I feel very, very lucky to have you in my life as a friend as well. So thank you. Uh, Nicole and Janine. Um, Nicole has been traveling with me when I came back on tour um, after I had Jada, and um, you know, my husband and I, we took on this adventure. And um, we couldn't have done it without your help. Um, I trust all three of our kids now completely in your hands, and you do an amazing job. So um, a huge thank you to you and for everything that you've done, not just for me, for my husband and for our kids. Thank you. <laughs> my best friend Caroline is here today. She flew in all the way from Belgium to be here. And uh, thank you, uh, Caroline, for your support. I've known her since I'm 12 years old, I think, and, um, and to have her here on this special day means a lot. She's given me the most belly laughs I can remember. Maybe, you know, the last one was at Wimbledon. Probably you guys saw that one. But um, she's, um, she's always been there for me, and thank you to Vanessa for being here as well. Thank you. Uh, Sam, um, he's not here today, but he was my osteopath and my fitness coach, my mentor, and my go-to guy for many years. Uh, thank you for being you. Um, I would have never been able to achieve all, that you, all the things that I did without you, and I look forward to all the many new projects that we have together. And finally, um, I'm very excited to share this moment with, uh, with my husband, Brian, and uh, with 
Jada, Jack, and Blake here today. Um, they all mean so much to me. And uh, when we started, you know, when Brian and I started this adventure, after we had Jada, um, it was it was amazing. Things, you know, playing again and then winning the U.S. Open so early on, and it was a, a unique experience. And um, Jada is now nine years old. Jack is almost four, and Blake is eight months. But I'm so so honored that I get to share this moment with them. And um, and this is um, this is really special, not just for me, but for all of us. So thank you. So again, just to round it up, thank you uh, to the International Tennis Hall of Fame for giving this humbling experience uh, for, to me and to my family. We really appreciate it very much. Thank you to everybody who's come out here today. Um, and thank you for tennis, for making my dreams come true and for giving me so much. And it's now our way to give back, our chance to give back. So thank you everybody very much. Thank you.